Yo, what is up YouTube? It's Dark Fang here, back with another video. And today I'm going to be doing a five types of people in Warframe type of video. Yes, I did do this with Paladins, with five types of players and Paladins. But yeah, I'm doing fun for Warframe now. If you um, think I've missed any types of players um, in this video, then after watching it, type, go to the comments and type, write what players I've missed. If I get at least four or five, then I'll do another one, common edition, just like I did with Paladins. So yeah, with that said, let's get on with this one. Alright, so starting off the list, we have the Louvers. Now these are the people in the squad who just let you do all the work, while they just stay back and loot. Let, like, you could be in, um, say an exterminate mission, you're deep in the map and you've killed like 90 out of 112 enemies. Well, this one guy is at the start of is at the start of the map and having no kills, but is looting everything, leaving every single thing, leaving no stone unturned. Like I gotta say, I'm guilty of this. I've done this before many times. I mean, it's not hurting anyone. They never seem to complain. And like I could, you could say dark, just go solo and do it. But then I'll have to actually kill the enemies and. Cause they're doing it and <laughs> Lou, I need those freaking Nero Nero so, whatever you call them. I need that loot. Alright, I want I wanna make war frames. Okay? Alright, so next we have the people who just don't revive you. I'm gonna call these people, uh, ditches, I guess? Yeah, or something like that, I don't know. Well, it's not just like reviving you, it's like helping you in general. I once was in a game, and a stalker appeared, and like, no one came, I was abandoned by my team, even though I was screaming in the chat, the stalker's here, help me, and obviously killed me, because I suck, and no one came to revive me. It's just one example, but still, we need to revive our team, that's why we're here, and only using, like, using your max revive, like, that's only for emergencies, like, if, like, everyone's dead and, like, you need to get yourself back up. I mean, I know what you could be saying, Dark, why don't you just get good and not die so you don't have to be revived? And that, I reply, um, shut up, I'm good. Alright, so what's next? Oh, well, that'll be the one to blindly join squads without correctly reading what you're actually hosting. I call these the, um, the blind squad joiners. I don't know. I suck at these names. Basically, these are the people who would like, say you go on a raccoon chat or whatever chat, and you're like, um, hosting Neo N7 Relic Radshare. I've been doing that a lot for this past week. People will appear certainly like, you're gonna you basically ask them to PM you. So people PM you, they wanna join, you invite them, every you got four people, you start and then this one guy just like Um I don't have the relic or I can't don't have the radiant version of this relic or whatever and whether it's like they didn't actually check or they just be trolling, it's so annoying. Like check before you join, it's happened to me so many times. This is the last minute they're like don't have this relic. Like, then why the hell would you join? Like, I said Neo went 7. So why did you join? It's actually so annoying. But the good thing is I actually got that Necro system from the Neo N7 after like 6 tries. Alright, so next we have the terrible hosts. By by this I mean the ones that like say they're gonna host a game like in the recruit chat or whatever again, they're like hosting this game. And all looks good until you actually get into the mission and everyone gets disconnected because of like host, host migration or something like that. Again, this is me, like from now I never host. I just ask people to invite me and let them host. 
because if they have host problems, then it doesn't get blamed on me. It's happened to me so many times and people get so annoyed. Um, again, like, it's really annoying. Like, if I'm lucky, at least one person stays. But eventually, as the mission goes on, they get lagged out as well. Like, if you know you can't host because you have, like, a terrible laptop, PC, or internet speed or something like that, you just don't try and host. It's so annoying. Like, when everyone gets disconnected. And, like, this is. And, like, um, especially if it's something like a relic rad share and everyone wants that same thing and if you do host even though you know you can't remember to keep like the tabs open for all the members that it's in your squad so you can just invite people back in if that even works <sighs> last of all we have the blind credit spenders You'll find these people when you go into trade, like, you find out they, like, you, they got something good, you want to buy it, go to trade with them, then you find out they can't freaking trade because they don't have, they can't pay the clan trade tax, and it's like, wow, you just wanna, you just want that flat, they can't give it to you because they only have like 5 credits. This has happened to me, I've been in these situations, not with 5 not with 5 credits, but like, you get so many credits, like, in less, in mission, lessons, in missions, you keep getting credits, so like, you don't, it doesn't come across you that you could run out, so you just keep spending, spending, and you don't worry about it, because you're just going to get another 6,000 plus in the next mission, so, it's hard, okay, like, I spent so much credits, <laughs> anyway, well, that was my five types of people in Warframe, players in Warframe. Uh, remember, if I missed any type of players, leave them in the comments below. And with that said, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. Um, join the Discord, links in the description. Um, share the video, uh, hit the bell button to get notified of my video, and I'll see you in the next one. Wow.